Kimberly Fernandez, I'm um, the Executive Director of Federal Hill House right over on Cortland Street. I know two out of three of you so far. And I'm concerned with two um, bills. I know one of them was sponsored by Senator Javor, um, the Early Childhood Innovation Act. Um, and I believe that supports um, funds for um, programs for zero to three, which is, as we all know, a really, really critical um, time in our children's lives. And um, I just want to know what you guys were, how you guys, what, I can't imagine you're not supporting, so I want to know what you're doing to get your colleagues to support that. And also, um, increasing the reimbursement for Department of Human Services for child care. Um, we run a $20,000 deficit right now in our child care program, and we find ways to pay for it because we know that early education and child care is critical to these kids. And, um, you know, our parents are working, they submit all their paperwork, they do everything they need to do, but we're paying, you know, really, really low wages to wonderful, wonderful caretakers that are really supporting these kids, yet we can't increase those because we don't have enough money. And another issue related to that is um, nobody wants to do infant care because you, have, you, you, you literally can't afford to do infant care because the ratios are so high, you get reimbursed the same as toddlers. You guys are all shaking your heads. I don't know um, what we can do to get those, uh, you know, get those, um, get those passed. We have a really high quality daycare center. We're three stars right now. We're about to be four. I'm hoping for five by the end of the year, if not next year. And I think that, you know, we deserve to Okay, let's jump to some answers where we're okay. running short on time. First of all, um, I'm going to let the first question that um, Senator Javor answer that yep. in this legislation. But the child care reimbursement is an issue throughout the entire state. Yep. And I do agree. What the state has done, it's more than a decade since they have done any type of increase, right? What the state has done is they have combined both toddlers, infant and toddlers as one payment, as you know. Mm -hmm. But rest assured, you will be getting an increase, finally. <laughs> So rest assured we have come to an agreement. We cannot do it straight across the board simply because it's not enough money. Yep. But the next round, there's another $6 million that the state is getting um, funded. I just heard of that from a little birdie. But I'm hoping that we can kind of push it over so that we can get it to the other older kids. But know for sure, toddlers, and infant and toddlers are going to be separated because they should be instead of combined. And you will get that increase this year. Thank you. Thanks. You know why I put the bill in? Because I know what some of the issues are. Senator Gallo, Senator Metz, and some of the other senators. So we're working very hard with the Senate President and the Finance Committee because it's all about the dollars. Um, where I differ with some of my colleagues is that I didn't vote for the Pawtucket Red Sox financing because I don't want the 40 or 50 million dollars of taxpayers money but I'd rather see the programs that you have I'm hoping that it doesn't get voted on and that may be 40 or 50 million dollars that is needed to spearhead that cause which you know I am a big supporter of it. And, and a lot of the legislative grants that we do get for the neighborhood, some people smirk at them, but let me say, in this neighborhood, the legislative grants go a long way because the organizations that are funded are so productive and the fruits of their labor bear throughout this whole city. So you have my word, I'll continue to fight for that issue. Thank you. I support all three of those, but I think your question was, what can we do? Well, what we can do to get collectively is you need to contact your senators and your reps. Uh, Senator Nesselbush from Pawtucket, who's the only openly gay elected uh, uh, official of the General Assembly, as far as I know, uh, she's, she and I are collaborating on some of the things. So one of them, as I think I stated earlier, is we're trying to put a, uh, a mechanism in place where if one person is holding up that bill, only one person, there's got to be a way we can yank it onto the floor. And it's up or down. Let's see what kind of intestinal fortitude you have. It's up or down. For me, this is easy stuff for me. But if you don't get it, if we're not afforded an opportunity to deal with the issue, then we're not going anywhere. So you need to contact your reps and your senators, okay? Thank you.